as a little Christmas present. I thought I'd give you a very condensed little workout because I know Christmas it should be the time of leisure and nice things, but it also means we're short of time. So it'll be three blocks, I mean one one off block, super short, then one on all fours, then standing a little squat lunch challenge, and at the end we finish with core. Should be pretty short, but I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we start on all fours for warm up. Good, just we arch and round. Cat and cow, really open your rib cage, go high up, look out of the window, whatever you see, go around, go in between your legs. Beautiful. Then you lift your knees, go into a down dog, make sure you have long shoulders, yet yeah, our head is between your head, hands or arms, back is long. Good, then you come forward, bring one up, go back down, strong plank. In the down dog, feel nice and long, arch your lower back, push your butt to the ceiling, legs are long, and you go other side. Okay, we make this a bit faster. Just down dog, feel the stretch, forward, look to the ceiling. And in. down dog, plank, leg forward. Make sure the other knee is always off the ground. Okay, last round. It's only, so I bring my right foot forward, my left knee stays far off the ground. So make sure you get a nice little hip stretch. Good, last one on the other side. Beautiful, reach for the ceiling, down and up. Good, keep your knees down, we directly stay here. So your left leg goes back, your right arm goes to the side, thumb points up, and we do small movements up and down. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, thumb points up, and check your arm, because usually when it gets tired, it ends up next to your body, make sure it's shoulder height. Three. Two, last one. Good, your left leg stays where it is. Your right arm goes forward. Push yourself off the ground. Belly stays strong. Neck pushes to the ceiling. We meet, meet, knee. Go tall. Meet, knee. Go tall. Good. We go all the way up to end eight, uh, ten times. Five. All the time. Do your little check up. My belly is strong. My shoulder is strong, my neck pushes to the ceiling. Perfect, we stay long and we do little movements up and down. Maybe you even want to pull your toe towards your knee so your left knee is locked and the movement really comes out of your glutes and your core stabilizes. Beautiful, left leg still stays, right arm goes down, pull your shoulders back again, nice strong upper body, left knee goes down, Bring it up to the side, hold it slowly down. 10 times here as well. Slowly up and down. I just switch my legs so you can see it. So your heel and your knee always stays about the same height. It's much easier if your heel stays towards the ground. But who wants to be, have it easy. We want to get the most out of our time. Okay, I go back to my left leg, two. And last one. Do you feel you can add a bit more? Just keep it up there. Adjust again and we count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, leg goes out. You slowly lower yourself down on the ground. Arms are long and pull it in. Arms are long. Watch out. Big circle to the butt. Long. Pull elbows in. So we have two different moves. You go tall. Big circle, hands end up next to your behind. Good, it's always good to add two different muscle groups together. Both those moves engage core and back. Good, two more times. Pull your shoulders in, neck is long. Forehead is the same distance to the ground as your shin. Perfect, hands underneath your shoulders again. Engage your belly come up on your knees and all fourth again and you guess what's coming same on the other side right foot out left arm up we're running out of space leg is long thumb points up high, hand as high as your shoulder you do little controlled movements 
and even here, whenever we have a long leg and don't want to move, you know, our knee, it's easier if you pull the toe towards your knee, then your calf muscles kind of like support your knee and the movement comes from your glutes. Super strong left shoulder. It's hard to keep your foot uh, hand outside rotated. So top thumbs point up. And last one. Beautiful. Wide leg stays. Right arm up. Thumbs to towards the ceiling. We meet underneath belly. Go tall again. Short and tall. And whenever we go tall, I say tall because I want you as long as possible. No need to touch the ceiling. You want to fill the whole room from one wall to the other and not to the ceiling because we don't want to arch. We want our belly to be strong. Last one. Stay tall again. Adjust, strong belly, strong shoulders, swap knee. Small movements up and down, very nice. Keep it long, keep it strong. Five, don't sink in your right shoulder. Four, neck is long. Three, two, last one. Good, arms go down, but you don't lose tension. Right knee goes down too, you bring it up, hold it there, slowly down. Up, hold it there, slowly down. You see, my heel is as high as my knee, and I resist gravity. I can go fast up, then I hold it there, and then slowly go down. And five. I know rushing seems to be so much easier, but again, we're not here to have it easy. We're here to do something good for ourselves. Two. Last one. And because there's still something in our glutes, we keep it up. Good. And we do five, four, both arms extended. Two, last one. And done. Good. Open your knees a bit. Sit back uh, and just enjoy for a second. Good. See, I told you it's quick because first set is already done. You come up. We do standing up. And those of you who joined boot camp and maybe even did the last little challenge, it will be a similar thing, but different. I know I'm famous for my great sentences. Okay, we do one squat, back lunge, squat, back lunge. Let me do a few. Let's see how far we get. We do one squat and we do one back lunge. Beautiful. We do a squat and a back lunge. And two, one. Come all the way up. Two, one. Nice. Two, sit back, one, two, one, up to free, I shuffle aside, push on your heels, good, our body is straight, you go back, free, weight is on the front heel, good, you push your butt back, back is straight, last one, up, main weight on the heel of the front foot, and in, we're down to four, three, two, one, good, Four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Good, definitely to five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, did I skip one? Oh, I think we still four. Two, three. Sorry, now we have five. I was too excited to be done with those. Two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Because from about four, you start breathing heavier. Three, two, one. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, good. And the beauty is, you now can just stop the move, the, the video, and go up to ten. Always add one more. The sky's your limit. Good. Okay, we keep on going now, back to the core. But, let's, again, stop the video, pause the video, don't stop it, pause it. Bring your challenge up to 10 and see how far you go. Good. So, core, make sure whenever we lift knees, back, back pushes to the ground, lift your knees up, knees are right above your hips. Because if they're here, you can already tell it's very relaxing, it's very nice. You get to do this, but in between the sets. When we work, have them above your knee. Okay? So we start with 10 each side. So we come up, extend, up, down, up, 
extend up, down. Very nice. And I said, turn each side again. You can easily do that. But because I don't want to bore you in this video, we just do 10 all together. And as you know me, I always have difficulties counting anyway. So probably I just skip one anyway. Okay, really high up. Keep the tension. Center. Done. Very good. Arms go to the side, legs go down. And you just come into little glute bridges. Remember, chest stays down, squeeze out of squeeze out of your glutes. You can squeeze more than you would actually need. Also about 10, 15, 4, 3, 2. Last one, good. You go down again, hands on your temples, knees above, hips. We do add a little rotation. You come up, both shoulders stay up. We extend one, we face a bit more the left knee, the one that's at the ceiling, but both shoulders stay off the ground. We come back to the center, both shoulders still off the ground. We go down. You come up, you're super strong. Face the other sh one, sh left shoulder higher than my right. Back to the center, by it, both shoulders high off the ground, down. Both shoulders off the ground, right higher than left, but both off. Center, down. Up, over, center, down. I know you're thinking, like, why should I always talk so much? Because I know those little tricks of your body, because the body wants to have it easy. It wants to make it without effort, which is good if you like, you know, if you need to survive in the jungle or you need to save your energy to hunt the mammoth, but luckily we're not there anymore. We sit too much and workout should be there to make it hard. Nice. Good. Okay. Core gets a rest. Leave your right leg up, arms to the side, wherever they feel comfortable. I like mine up, but if you prefer them down there, please go for it. Okay. You come up, knee goes to the chest, you go back down. So it's a single leg glute bridge, but I really want you, whenever you come up, bring the knee towards the chest. Otherwise, you have too much pressure in your lower back. Good, turn on the side too. Five, four, three, two, last one. Very good, knees up. Before we do the other side, we do one more time, core. We do the same as before, but a bit higher frequency, okay? While we come up, we rotate to the side, still center, down, both shoulders up, rotate, down. So you see, it's still the same movement, but a bit more of a flow. No rush, the trunk stays stable, just the shoulders do the rotation. Good, or else could let a little mistake sneak in. Yeah, don't pull on your head. Keep your elbows away from your ears. They're just here to take a bit weight off your head, but your neck should be getting strong too. Two more each side. Push your back to the ground. That's what matters. Nice, last round. And down. Good. We don't do forget the other side. So right foot down, left stays up, arms wherever you like them. You do single leg glute bridge. When you come up, you bring the knee towards your chest or towards the ceiling and chest. So it's not here. You want to have it strong. Nice. Whatever movement you do, use as many muscles as you can at the same time. Because why not, huh? And three, we don't need to save energy. We usually should burn our energy to Last one. Excellent. Good. Bring both feet out. Bring your palms off your feet together. Knees about 45 degrees out. And we finish up with little glute bridges. Glute bridge. Shoulders stay down. We just squeeze. So it's not, you know, if you're very flexible, don't be out there. We only have them 45 degree out. Two. Last one, excellent, down, finisher. Last time, core, let it go to rest. So we come up, this time we stay up. And we start with slow, lean over. So I'm not leaving all the way to the side. I just face the leg a bit more, face the knee a bit more. Okay, and as soon as I feel, oh, I have all my right muscle scripts together. 
I can speed up a bit more. Speed up, speed up. And if you feel, oh, it's too unstable, keep your knees a bit more bent, but give me the pace. Almost there. Five, back pushes down. Don't bring your knee too far to the chest. Up, both shoulders stay off the ground. And two, and done. Very nice. Extend your left leg. Right comes over to the left side. Bring your right arm up and out. Follow your hand. Your head follows your right hand. And see if you can bring your knee down and your shoulder down. If you're not flexible today, every day is different and you feel like, oh, my shoulder's down, but my knee is still at the ceiling, then do a bit of a compromise. Go bring your shoulder, uh, knee a bit more down. And let your uh, uh, shoulder hover a bit above the ground. Better have gravity pull on your knee and on your shoulder than having one side down and the other one is just you know, staying there. Good. Back to the center. Left knee up. Over to the right side. Left arm up and out. Feel a good stretch in your shoulder and same here. If not both shoulder and knee touches the ground, let both hover a bit above the ground. Maybe even use your right hand to give some enforcement towards the ground. And really, with each breath, you sink deeper. Nice, good. Bring your arm to the side. You roll back on your back. Hold both onto both legs. Let them pull you up. And you're already done. I promised you. Short and quick and easy, but hopefully fun. Take care.